I like that. This weekend, we're making maple syrup and building the ultimate breakfast bar. In the summertime, when it's not being used as the maple syrup evaporator, it turns into a Korean barbecue table. OK. I'm Andrew. I'm Kevin. Welcome, Welcome to Brojax. <laughs> Making the ultimate breakfast bar and the maple syrup to go along with it will be a three-fold operation. First, we'll start by topping the dozens of maple trees around the property with spiles and buckets. Next, we're making a custom evaporator out of an old locker we found and raising it up on futon legs. We'll line the locker with fire brick for efficiency and a large thermal mass to regulate the temperature. A removable chimney keeps the smoke away and three steel chafing pans create a wide surface area for quickly boiling down the collected sap into syrup. Finally, our evaporator doubles as an appetizer and breakfast bar. The chafing pans replaced by barbecue grills for cooking bacon and a bar top table for eating pancakes topped with our delicious freshly made maple syrup. We had an old futon frame kicking around, took the ends off it and turned them into feet for the evaporator. So Walker's here, it's all hands on deck, we're really getting this thing going now. The chances of us having maple syrup on our pancakes went way up when Walker got down. I don't mind helping out a bit, uh, these guys are fun, I've known them my entire life. It's great times coming down here and giving them a hand. I say that's brilliant. Whoa, I like it. That looks awesome, man. It looks really cool. Holy perfect. Walker, put your hand up there just for tabletop height. It's like pretty much perfect. <laughs> OMG. Our evaporator's going really well, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna have some good homemade maple syrup for my daughter and uh, wife who are on their way down. Walker and I are working on the actual table and we sent uh, Nitzo there to continue to gather our sap. The sap's still running like crazy. So the sap is flowing. Hopefully the boys are ready and we can get some evaporating done. It's gonna take a while to get the fire going, so it should be probably priority one, right? Do you want me to help you build the arch? Yeah, we can do that. These are fire bricks, so they won't split when they get hot. The red bricks are just giving us a little bit of thermal mass. So this is gonna be our arch or our little ramp. Uh, the fire is gonna burn here, and then the, all the smoke will come out this way, out through our chimney and up. You guys owe me at least a liter of syrup. I'll bring enough home for you for two pancakes. Perfect. So I stayed a little longer than usual to give the guys a hand, but uh, there's not too much left to do. It's, it's time to get going. I wanna get a fire in this thing and get some of the sap starting to heat up and boil down. Take it off, take it off, quick! We finally got up to temp on this thing and I think we've got finished maple syrup here. I thought we'd be here for like 15 hours doing this. Oh, holy holy crap. crap! Is that ever good? Oh my God, that's syrup, man. We're gonna be on a sugar high here. <laughs> like beaming around. We have enough maple syrup now that we can uh, throw it on some pancakes. Boiling liquid on my hands. So next step is to switch this off. We're gonna put it in the grills, turn it to a breakfast bar, and get cooking. Let's get this bacon off. She's getting crispy. I am impressed. Prosciutto, melon, and basil. The only three things we had in our fridge. <laughs> Ready for a flapjack. Wow, that's delicious. Back here, what? The game was brilliant. It was just about perfect. Oh my god, this is absolutely amazing. <laughs> 